What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and to the channel. So in this video I wanted to talk about some of the mods I have on my 2014 BMW F30 335i with the N55 engine. Those of you who've been following the channel, you guys know I have done a pretty significant amount of mods to the car. Plenty of exterior mods, a couple interior mods, and then a pretty good amount of performance mods. So as we know, modifying a car is very expensive. Parts can get expensive very quickly. However, that does not mean there aren't cheaper mods available for your BMW. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the top 10 cheapest mods that I have on my BMW F30 335i. So starting at number 10 here, the 10th cheapest mod that I have on my BMW F30, and that would be my CTS Turbo intake. Now, I got this intake for $264 straight from CTS Turbo's website. Now, an intake is probably one of the cheapest and easiest mods to install on pretty much any car. Now, it doesn't necessarily add performance or any significant amounts of performance in the form of horsepower, but it does produce some pretty awesome intake noises, turbo noises, air swooshes, and all that good stuff that we like, especially if your car is turbocharged or supercharged. seen that is really the main reason to get an intake is just for the noises for my engine specifically um, I really just got it for the intake noises and that's about it um, I can't really say if it really added any you know significant uh, power gains but after I did tune the car it definitely got a little bit louder and sounded a lot better I have heard from some people who have also used this intake and their engine ended up not running so well after installing it um, they had a rough idle or they had a loss of power so it just seems like some engines just aren't really compatible with this intake. Uh, mine has had zero issues since I've installed it. From what I've seen, all the intakes that are available for the N55 engine are all pretty much the same. They all do the same thing. They all sound the same. So it really doesn't matter what brand. But regardless, I still recommend trying out this intake. This CTS Turbo intake has been an awesome addition to my BMW. So moving on to number nine here, the ninth cheapest mod I have on my BMW and that would be my Forged Carbon M-Style mirror caps. Now these mirror caps cost $260 and they are actually available on my own store, inline6auto.com. They have been a great addition to my BMW F30 because for me, I've been trying to get all Forged Carbon pieces on the exterior. So Forged Carbon spoiler, Forged Carbon grill, front lip, side skirt. So yeah, I was trying to do a complete Forged Carbon look and these mirror caps have been a perfect addition for that. They have an excellent forged carbon finish. It looks amazing. It looks so good, especially in the sun. Now the fitment of these mirror caps is not, you know, perfect like OEM fitment. It could be better, but overall it is still good. They fit securely into the mirror. They're not gonna fall off or anything. And they do follow all of the lines that are on the mirror. So that it doesn't look, you know, unsymmetrical around certain points of the mirror. But I still think these are an excellent set of mirror caps for those of you who are interested in forged carbon pieces. Next up at number eight here, the eighth cheapest mod I have on my BMW, and that would be my carbon fiber rear bumper extensions. Now these are once again also available on my store, inline6auto.com, and these are actually the last pieces I have on the BMW F30 that are not in forged carbon, and that is because um, I can't get these in forged carbon, they're not available yet. Hopefully sometime in the future they'll be available in forged carbon. But these, these carbon fiber rear bumper extensions cost $218. And they add a very nice aesthetic look to the rear end of the car, especially if you have a carbon fiber diffuser and carbon fiber spoiler and exhaust tips. It just basically completes the look of the rear end of a BMW F30. Now these specifically only fit uh, the M Sport bumper on the F30 or F31 3 Series. So they do not fit the non M Sport rear bumper. Now these rear bumper extensions have pretty much a perfect fitment on the M Sport rear bumper. They'll come with uh, some bolts, some nuts, and some double-sided tape so that you can keep these nice and secured to the bumper. In addition, they have a nice glossy real carbon fiber finish. So yeah, these are definitely a nice addition to the rear end of your F30 if you have an M Sport rear bumper. So coming in at number seven here, the seventh cheapest mod on my BMW, 
that would be my CTS Turbo charge pipe. This charge pipe cost me $198. Now this is technically considered a performance part, but it does not add any sort of power to the car. It's more of a preventative maintenance part for when you tune the car and start pushing more boosts. As we know, it's pretty common knowledge now that the stock charge pipe that come on turbocharged BMW engines is very brittle and can break very easily and has even burst or broke under stock power. Um, and then once you tune it and start pushing more power, more boost, that's when uh, your chances go up of it breaking since the metal can handle way more pressure, way more boost and keep your engine running smoothly. If you're planning to tune your turbocharged BMW, this is a part you'll definitely want. Now CTS Turbo isn't the only company that makes these. There's all sorts of companies out there that make charge pipes. And from what I've seen, they're all pretty much the same. They just have a different, you know, logo stamped on them from whichever company makes them. Now coming in at number six, the sixth cheapest mod on my BMW, that would be my carbon fiber gear shift knob. Now this piece is once again from my store inline six auto. It is a carbon fiber piece that directly replaces the silver piece that is on your gear shift selector knob. This piece adds a nice subtle touch of carbon fiber to the interior of your car and it goes very well with the carbon fiber interior overlay trim kit that I also sell on my website. Now that kit is way more expensive than this piece. This piece by itself costs $105. Now this is definitely a smaller piece, but it is made out of real carbon fiber and is a direct replacement of the silver piece. As I mentioned, it is not an overlay, which is a lot easier to make and a lot cheaper. This uh, directly replaces that piece, so it installs the same exact way, giving it more of a clean OEM look like it could have came from the factory uh, with this piece. This piece will fit any BMW with this specific gear shift selector knob. I believe they introduced this one in 2014 for the F30, F31 3 series, and then it came on the F32, F36 4 series, and F22 2 series. So moving along to number five, the fifth cheapest mod on my BMW F30, and that would be my silver aluminum paddle shifters that I have on my custom carbon fiber steering wheel. These paddle shifters are also, once again, from my store, Inline 6 Auto, and they cost $98. I think these are an excellent upgrade over the stock paddle shifters that come on the M Sport steering wheel, since those are a lot fatter and thicker, and these are a lot thinner and longer, and they're made out of real metal. They just feel and look a lot better, I think, than the stock paddle shifters. And they go perfectly if you have a custom, you know, carbon fiber steering wheel like I do. Overall, it just adds a cooler, unique look uh, to your steering wheel and it makes you feel like you're driving a more aggressive, you know, sportier car since they are thinner and longer and are made out of metal. So yeah, I think these would be an awesome addition to your interior and to your steering wheel. So next up at number four here, the fourth cheapest mod on my BMW, and that would be my caliber paint kit that I got from Amazon that I use to paint my brake calibers, the lime green yellowish color you guys have seen in the videos. Now I have to say, this is the best caliber paint kit that I have come across. Um, that you can use to paint your brake calibers. I painted these over a year ago and the paint finish is still perfect. It has not peeled off at all. It still looks exactly the same as when I first applied it over a year ago. But yeah, this paint kit is definitely worth it 100%. It costs $60, so it is not expensive at all. This kit comes with everything you need to do this yourself at home, so you do not need to have someone else do this. You can definitely do this yourself in a few hours and they have plenty of colors to choose from. Now coming in at number three here, the third cheapest mod I have on my BMW and that would be my carbon fiber e-brake handle. Now this is once again from my store, Inland 6 Auto. This is one of the cheaper products I have available at $60, same as the caliber paint kit. This is also another part that you can add to the interior of your BMW to add some carbon fiber and it is definitely an easier part to install, probably one of the easiest parts you could do um, on this car. This is an excellent first mod to get for your BMW, and this fits on a bunch of different BMW models, ranging from the E90 chassis all the way to the F chassis. So moving along to number two here, the second cheapest mod I have on my BMW, and that would be my LED smoked sequential turn signals. Now these are once again, as you can guess, from my store, Inline 6 Auto. These are also an excellent first mod since they are cheaper at $60 once again. 
and they are fairly easy to install and they offer a great aesthetic upgrade to the exterior of your car. They go great if you have gloss black or carbon fiber forged carbon mirror caps since you know the chrome clear stock turn signals kind of look weird if you have a dark colored mirror cap. These will easily fix that since they are smoked and they have a really cool LED sequential lighting sequence whenever you whenever they're activated. So yeah, this is definitely one of the cooler, cheaper mods that are available for the BMW F chassis. These fit the F30, F32 4 series and F22 2 series. So finally, number one, the cheapest mod I have on my BMW F30. That would be my crystal start stop ignition button. Now, once again, this part is from my store, Inline 6 Auto. Now this piece is probably the easiest mod you can install on any BMW. It is extremely easy and it is definitely a great first mod for a beginner since it does not require too many tools and it is very quick, only takes like 10 minutes or less. And the part is one of the cheapest parts that are available for BMW F30 or any BMW. They are even cheaper if you get just a colored one like a red one or blue one that are also available on my store inline 6 auto. Those are even cheaper at $12. Now this piece can fit on any F chassis BMW with the same ignition start stop button that is on my F30 but I believe they come on all sorts of F chassis BMWs. So yeah this is definitely the cheapest and easiest addition you can add to the interior of your car. So there you have it, the top 10 cheapest mods I have on my BMW F30. As you guys saw, parts can get expensive very quickly. As you guys saw, the 10th cheapest mod in this car costs $264, which is not cheap, um, I would say. I mean, it's cheaper when you look at the grand scheme of all the mods that are available for BMWs. It is definitely one of the cheapest mods, but in just in general, when you're spending money on something, it is definitely not a cheap part. So yeah, parts can get very expensive very quickly for those of you who may be just starting out on modifying a car or a BMW. So yeah, just know that going in. Now I have plenty of other parts on this car that are very expensive, so I'll do another video where I'll talk about the most expensive parts on my BMW F30. So yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. I'll leave links to all of the mods I showed you guys in this video down in the description. If any of you guys end up buying any parts from my store, I just wanna say thank you. I appreciate it 100%. Your support means everything and I cannot get anywhere without you guys. Um, so yeah, I just wanna say thank you. I 100% appreciate any sort of support you guys give me to the store, to the channel, or just any, you know, positive comments on anything I post here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more content like this if you guys liked what you saw, and I will see you guys in the next video.